The Stag and His Reflection A stag, drinking from a crystal spring, saw himself mirrored in the clear water. He greatly admired the graceful arch of his antlers, but he was very much ashamed of his spindly legs. How can it be, he sighed, that I should be cursed with such legs when I have so magnificent a crown? At that moment he scented a panther, and in an instant was bounding away through the forest. But as he ran his wide-spreading antlers caught in the branches of the trees, and soon the panther overtook him. Then the stag perceived that the legs of which he was so ashamed would have saved him had it not been for the useless ornaments on his head. We often make much of the ornamental, and despise the useful. THE PEACOCK The peacock, they say, did not at first have the beautiful feathers in which he now takes so much pride. These, Juno, whose favorite he was, granted to him one day when he begged her for a train of feathers to distinguish him from the other birds. Then, decked in his finery, gleaming with emerald, gold, purple, and azure, he strutted proudly among the birds. All regarded him with envy. Even the most beautiful pheasant could see that his beauty was surpassed. Presently the peacock saw an eagle soaring high up in the blue sky, and felt a desire to fly, as he had been accustomed to do. Lifting his wings, he tried to rise from the ground, but the weight of his magnificent train held him down. Instead of flying up to greet the first rays of the morning sun, or to bathe in the rosy light among the floating clouds at sunset, he would have to walk the ground more encumbered and oppressed than any common barnyard fowl. Do not sacrifice your freedom for the sake of pomp and show. End of 